tonight. It's the National Football League. Super Bowl 62. Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Houston Texans taking on the NFC champions, the Dallas Cowboys. tumultuous two weeks but it is finally time for football as we're underway in Super Bowl 62. And they're going to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. I love his mobility and I think he continues to get better and better as a pocket passer. But how about just his plain intangibles that he brings to the position? Mental toughness, as well as a physical presence that helps power any offense. Here's
there's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. So able to break through the initial contact and then down right near the 25. Ross Blacklock on the tackle. Blacklock. A gain of two. Brings up from the 25 on second down. Prescott toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Will Disley, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. By the way, I gotta apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Shoves him away. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Orchestrating the offense will be a man who, of course, won a national title back in his days at Clemson, Deshaun Watson. Had a chance to meet him while he was still at Clemson at a summer camp partner. And this is one of the best kids you're going to meet out there. And he doesn't say a whole lot, but it's fun to watch how people respond to him. When he was a camp counselor, the kids just flocked around him like the Pied Piper, just as his teammates did while he was at Clemson. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's caught inside the 35. He is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is? It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. A pickup of two brings up second and goal. On second and goal, Watson to the end zone, but it's incomplete. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. Brings up third and goal. Now Watson. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense. He's passed few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. A 29-yard attempt. And the 10-year bet knocks it to the goal post. And it's now 3-0, Texans. Makes the score, Texans 3, Cowboys nothing. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is... Come away with the points now. Come back and get greedy later and try to put it in the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. And, just some... and he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Ross Blacklock. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. A throw over the middle, taken in. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Prescott from the gun on third. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And Thomas seems to be in some pain. He's still on the ground. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Down carry by Elliott. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Taken down at the 43 yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second from the shotgun. A give to Elliott. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans 37. So they get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. First and 10 at the 30. First down, Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's going to be out down Inside the 20 at the 15. Same exact result as last play. A pickup of 11. Now back to the ground with Elliott. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef, that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Prescott from the gun. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. After the TD, here's Carpenter on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Texans take over first and 10. 
at their own 24-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the 29, Watson got his man complete over the middle. It's Carpenter. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Watson now to throw. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. From the gun, here's Watson. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. First and 10 at the 16-yard line. From the red zone now, Watson. Throw left side complete. That's Carpenter. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and Out of the gun, Watson. The quick slam caught. He's in. Touchdown, Houston. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans have retaken the lead. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Point Jake Elliott. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10 7. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. And the result a Houston touchdown. Jake now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. <laughs> they'll start the drive with Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. One-yard gain brings up second. They'll run with Elliott. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And seven. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. 
And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Cowboys seven. Prescott looks to throw on first. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. To throw is Prescott. better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to have the football back again. About a punt of 38 yards officially, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Houston set to take over. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Brings up second and nine. Back to throw, Watson. Over the middle, complete. That's Carpenter. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down. First down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. First down, McLean. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Taken down at the 43-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. A shotgun snap for Watson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Carpenter. Watson's pass. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and five. Operating from the gun, Watson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That well, certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. 
Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. Oh, he sheds himself free. Touchdown, Houston. Deshaun Watson, 33 yards. And the Texans will add on to their lead. So a design run all the way, and he took it the distance. I don't know that anybody saw that come. Well, on this play, how about the vision of it, being able to see the open field, make his move, and get there. Oftentimes, defenses have a spy for the quarterback position to try to take care of it. On that play, if they did, it certainly is lost. Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. It's good to make it 17-7. So that drives seven plays in length. And the final act belonged to Deshaun Watson in his touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. With them losing here in the second quarter and his limited productivity so far, you'd have to think they're going to try to look to him a little bit more, right? I would guess you would start to see maybe some quick screens, some hitches, anything to get the ball in his hands quickly and let him try and do some damage after the catch. Or maybe just flip some formations and keep him isolated where it's more of a one-on-one -on -one route and get the ball to him. I say just four verts, right? Hey, why not? Four verts. <laughs> one of the best routes in football. Hard to cover each guy all the way along the route. So far, just one catch for him. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. down throw for Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. Prescott's pass. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Prescott now from the 50. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 41-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Ross Blacklock. Able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot him. Deshaun Watson of the Texans offense trot back out there. He's thrown for a touchdown. He also ran for a touchdown, so they have to count for a guy that can do a little bit of both. And because of that, that puts a defense back on its heels. Because normally you just think, okay, he's going to throw the ball. Let's tee off, put extra pressure on him. But when he's able to either escape or run with the ball in design plays, that really changes what you try and do on defense. Yeah, you certainly can't forget about the arm, that's for sure. Second and four. From the 30 on second down, Watson. Eluding the pressure right. Deshaun Watson. 
Robinson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. From Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a man open down the middle of the field. 10 more yards. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 40-yard line. On second down, McLean. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 35. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much running room. Down to the 32. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second and seven, Watson. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, Watson. Throw left side, complete. It's Carpenter. And he is going to have the Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now Watson from the gun, he'll throw. That is caught inside the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. First and goal at the three-yard line. Watson looks to throw again. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. From three yards out. And the Texans push further out in front. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Jake now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First and 10. At their own, Dak and the Cowboys ready for their next possession. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. From the snap 
He certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Elliott. They get five, and it will go ahead and move the chains. First and ten at the 38-yard line. To the air again, Prescott. They find Lamb. That's complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Prescott. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Third and 12. On third down, it's Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped, and the Texans scoop it. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Recovered by the defense. Fumble recovery, Watson. Going to throw right side here, complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Operating from the gun, Watson. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Deshaun Watson with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Texans will extend their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. And it's up and good. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Taking it about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he stopped immediately there. Second down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. yard line. From the gun, Watson. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. 
And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Here's a first down throw. It's complete. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Carpenter. And he's going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And to give this time to the tailback. Now he's strapped. He lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. He has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That's a nice play there. First down, Prescott. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Ross Blacklock. Make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. After the sack on first down, Prescott. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Prescott. receivers all game CD and that's because really there hasn't been any this defense has been all over them. yeah they're one of the better defenses in the league and every time I talk to someone around the NFL they all say the exact same thing they're so fundamentally sound it's hard to execute against them Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10, just shy of the 30. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Oh, there's that man again, it's complete. 
And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and this is what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. On first down, Ziegler, and he is tackled inside the 49th point to the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it, but a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. 36-yard line. One-yard gain. Brings up second and On nine. second and nine. Watson. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Fuller brings it in over the middle. Inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. It's second and inches at the Cowboys' 9-yard line. Now it's Watson. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll lead here to a third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to pool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. To the air yet again, Watson. They can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. Again, it's Watson. His pass caught at the four. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. A pickup of two. Brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Watson. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Deshaun Watson. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. point. 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And the final act belonged to Deshaun Watson in his touchdown run. Jake Elliott. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They start on the ground with Elliott, and he powers his way up past the 30. Number 21. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. He's brought down at the 31. Four yards on the pickup. Second and They six. play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A game there of 30 big ones. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game and they hit that one there for big yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Six yards. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Draw play, Elliott. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the Texans' 14-yard line. here in the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. 14-yard line, second and 11. They go to Elliott again. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. The ball carrier. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. Third and two. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Five-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. The extra point forthcoming. And the lead is down to 24. So the drive there took six plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Cowboys, 14. After the TD, here's Carpenter on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Their own 30-yard line. And now out.
becomes Houston. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. They'll keep it on the ground. McLean found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. Brings up third and three. the ground with a tight end and he brings this up to the 46 good enough for the first they get nine out of that one and as a result the drive continues and that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut and he's a guy that has some height to him so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash makes it a lot easier to stay upright see the field and make a run as we just saw there First down, McLean. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Abuzie on the tackle. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 44-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. McLean. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, McLean. Calling a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. He lost four there, and it's third down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there, and now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. He's given three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Three, it's fourth down. Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This will be from 56 yards out. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. offense now heading back out onto the field those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter and that NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight well they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter that's one of the few things that's gone wrong you're exactly right this one was well in hand that kick there was more for cosmetics you know to add to their score not getting it that shouldn't harm them at all On first and ten, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Out of bounds at the 37-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and To three. throw again on second down, Prescott. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 
Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and ten at the 30. Prescott yet again. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Out of bounds at the 23-yard line. A seven-yard pickup. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Ross Blacklock. My goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. Third and long. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Prescott from the gun. Cooper's got it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and throwing. Prescott. And that is incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. Here it's third and two. Brings up third down. Now Prescott. He can run for it, and he will. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. For a Cowboys. First and goal at the two-yard line. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This is a tough situation offensively because down three scores, the field goal kicker is not even going to come into play here. As an offensive play caller, though, you know you have to take chances. This is a time to get creative. Second and goal. Looking to throw. Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. CD Lamb is intended target, but now it's third and goal. It's now third and goal. Prescott to throw it. His pass caught at the four. And he is out of bounds here. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. Field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great effort there. Taking it in. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Oh, this is what I love about calling these games. Fourth and goal. This is all about leverage. Who wants it more? And who's going to get it done at the point of attack, the line of scrimmage? So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Prescott now. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll find 
find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples throughout a ball game. Here's a great example right there. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the effort snuffed out. The Texans' hands team recovers. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front, combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Number 41, the ball carrier. Brought down at the 35-yard line. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he'll be taken down at the 34. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. A carry here for the big tight end. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. The Cowboys single for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. And he'll give it here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Given 14 on that one and a first down. First Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Kings of the Super Bowl. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports